summer of 2003. I was a guitar teacher going around schools all around the Surrey area and bits of Hampshire teaching guitar to small people that weren't the slightest bit entirely irritating. I needed a car. I had a car. I had a Triumph Dolomite but the wheel kept falling off and I didn't really trust it. But I also had an Austin Allegro and that was very clunky in the suspension and I was a bit concerned that something might go wrong and I needed something a bit more reliable. So I did myself a proper list of available cars within my budget which was about £500. Within the list it had to be a decent size, generally reliable, nice to drive and a car that you know I actually quite liked and I found 10 different cars. The Nissan Primera for example was one of them, the Vauxhall Cavalier and the Ford Mondeo were not. Actually it might have been just about the Vectra. Might have been able to afford a Vectra. Didn't want one of those. With a scientific tick box that I made on a piece of A4 paper, I whittled it down to one car. And that one car was the Rover 420 GSI. Having developed quite a lot of respect from my previous Rover 400, because it didn't break down, knowing the size of the boots, etc., knowing that it was reliable, all these kind of things that you actually want it to be, the Rover really sort of made sense to me. So off I went on a quest to buy one, and I found one on the outskirts of London for £420. Woo, isn't that spooky? No, it's not. It's a coincidence. Actually, come to think of it, it wasn't really the 420 necessarily, it was just the 400, because I did inquire about a 418 diesel but that had sold very very quickly. Off I went with the man now known as Senior Mustard to go and collect this 420. It was red and grey like most of them were. It had wheel trims. It looked like just an old car really. I mean it wasn't particularly old. It was 10 years old so it was still perfectly respectable. But it had nothing about it that suggested it was going to be quick and it jolly was. It was a bit scabby around the uh, arches and things like that and the paint was a bit flat. At the time I didn't really know about how to rejuvenate the paint so I left it as it was. And I used to thrash people at the traffic lights. Yep, I used to do that kind of thing. I don't really do it anymore but I certainly used to do it and I used to enjoy doing it. And it really did happen quite a lot because alongside me at the lights would pull someone with their induction kit and their shiny paint and stuff next to this old man's car and suddenly they were thrashed. <laughs> anyway, that car, um, what happened to it? Well, I, I used it successfully and never let me down or anything like that. So, um, and the clutch was always slipping on it, but it still managed to keep going. And eventually I got another car and this one ended up going to help this other car. You'll find out why in another episode of Mustard's Car History. <laughs>